In the field of industrial automation VFDs and soft starters are often seen as twin devices, which can be confusing. Both are used to protect motors, but their core functionalities are quite different. In our previous videos, we've covered many application examples of VFDs and soft starters, including basic parameter settings of VFDs, terminal control, analog control, RS-485 communication control, etc., as well as common use cases for soft starters. If you're interested in those videos, feel free to browse through our previous uploads. I'll include the links in the description below. While VFDs and soft starters share some similarities in controlling industrial motors, their distinct characteristics are still very noticeable. In this video we'll explore, what is the difference between a VFD and a soft starter? And how do they work? A soft starter typically has a three-phase bridge structure, with two SCRs, silicon-controlled rectifiers, per phase making six in total. Its core is a voltage regulation module based on thyristors, which achieves a gentle start by adjusting the voltage. The output waveform of a soft starter is a chopped sine wave. This method reduces the terminal voltage of the motor, thereby lowering the starting current and mechanical stress. The motor's speed gradually ramps up to the rated speed like a slope. Once it reaches the rated speed, the soft starter switches over to an internal or external contactor, and the motor connects directly to the power grid. Similarly, when stopping, the motor's speed gradually ramps down. VFD, on the other hand, outputs a PWM, pulse width modulation, waveform. Its main internal structure includes rectifier circuit, filter circuit, and inverter circuit. The VFD controls the motor speed by adjusting the frequency of the square wave. Speed control is the most obvious difference between VFDs and soft starters. Let's illustrate this with a couple of use cases. Consider a water tank that simply needs to be filled, emptied and refilled repeatedly. In this case, the pump only needs to be turned on or off, so a soft starter is sufficient. Now imagine a continuously operating cooling fan. When the temperature is stable and moderate, the motor can run at a low load. But when the temperature exceeds a warning threshold, higher airflow is needed for enhanced cooling. This setup requires a VFD. A VFD can easily control motor speed by adjusting the frequency. Looking at the similarities, both VFDs and soft starters reduce the electrical impact during startup, and both allow for smooth motor startup. However, VFDs are used in more complex applications where speed control is needed. They can be integrated with sensors to create either closed-loop or open-loop systems. Back to ADO Mall. We offer both VFDs and soft starters in a wide variety. 120V input VFDs. 220V to 380V output VFDs. Single-phase input to three-phase output VFDs. Even single-phase output VFDs. If your application doesn't require speed control and only needs a soft starter, we have those as well.